Hello Taurus, Sun Moon Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Taurus, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Taurus currently view this relationship? Alright, so far so good. So we do have the Strength card. We also have the Two of Wands. And then we also have the King. Of wands at the bottom of the deck mm -hmm. we have the empress we have the lovers we also have the knight of wands and then we also have the ace of cups Taurus I feel like you need to get very crystal clear on what you want and how you want to move forward here with someone okay because currently at the moment I see you connecting with an empress and by the way an empress is all of the queens in one. Technically speaking, you're dealing with the total package here, okay? I feel like this person has a lot that you're looking for than a person than some. I feel like, in other words, this person has definitely exceeded um, your expectations. This empress also comes off to me as somebody who's truly interested in you, somebody who truly wants to build towards a romantic relationship with you. Um, and this is why I say you kind of need to get very crystal clear on what you want to do here with this empress and how you kind of want to move forward. Because right now, I feel like you're a little bit indecisive on on what you want with them and how you want to move forward whether it be with them or without them but um you're currently how do i say this stores you're currently at this stage in your life where you don't necessarily want to settle down for right now but you're definitely looking at this empress as somebody who's worth settling down with and i kind of feel like that's kind of where like the confusion is starting to kind of kick in for you because you are technically speaking dealing with somebody who has everything that you're looking for within a person and then some and you kind of know that that in itself is very hard to find um you have a, enough life experience to kind of know how hard it actually is to find somebody who has everything that you're looking for within a person and then some but see the problem also too is is that right now you're just not at that point Point in your life where you're looking for somebody that you can you know settle down with it kind of looks like you still want to kind of be single and free for a little while and just kind of enjoy your life and your singlehood nothing wrong with that um but it kind of looks like there's a you know a big choice that you have to make here when it comes down to this um person that you currently find yourself connecting with how does this person currently do this relationship Okay. We have the hair. Mm. We have the hair font. We have the ten of swords, and then we also have the lovers. You know, you mean a great deal to this person. They feel a very strong and intense connection here with you, Taurus. You know, their whole thing is, I just want to be happy. I just want somebody that I can build with. I just want somebody I can establish a life with. I'm tired of getting hurt. I'm tired of getting disappointed. Like this person's really really trying their hardest to kind of keep the hope and the faith that you know things might just work out here between you and them um things might eventually just get serious here between you and them um that's what they're hoping for because the last thing they want to experience is another letdown is another disappointment um so then there's that but how does Taurus currently feel okay we have the eight of cups we have the King of Cups, and then we also have the Four of Wands. Okay, so in regards to how you're currently feeling, and this is kind of reiterating what I kind of already said about you and your energy, right? You know, with this Empress in particular, it's somebody that you really do like. It's somebody that you can definitely foresee yourself building and establishing a future with. I just kind of feel like your whole thing is, I just wasn't expecting for the one to show up like right now. Like I was kind of hoping the one would kind of show up maybe three years from now, two years from now, but I really wasn't planning on the one to show up right now, right? So Taurus, it just kind of looks like, the one is kind of showing up here for you a lot quicker than you anticipated slash expected. Um, so with that being said, you're really thinking long and hard about what you want to do here because you don't want to walk away from this opportunity and then later on regret it. 
It's basically what I'm getting. But at the same exact time, you're at that stage also too in your life where you don't really want to settle down just yet. You know, I feel like, you know, a lot of you still just want to enjoy your singlehood and your freedom. Um, but the, the choice, right, to go off and build and establish a life here with this person, you know, it, it's definitely possible. It's definitely here. But, you know, the ball technically speaking is in your court. You know, it's pretty evident to me that you are what they want and they're really hoping that they don't get hurt by you. They're really hoping that it does work out here between you and them. Um, because they really do want to be with you. They really do want to establish a life here with you. But this kind of all kind of falls on you right now. Um, you're either going to see this entire situation through or you're not. Your whole thing is, is that you kind of feel like if you were to walk away from this opportunity, the likelihood of you meeting somebody who just so happens to fit every fucking thing, you know what I mean, that you're looking for within a person may not ever happen again. In other words, you feel like this, this opportunity may not ever present itself ever again. So a lot of you feel like you gotta like, you know, go after this person and, and build here, uh, build towards a life here with this person. But then at the same exact time, it's like, again, it just wasn't something that you were anticipating or expecting to show up here for you right away is basically what I'm getting. How does this person currently feel? Okay. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And then we also have the Tower. Okay. I feel like this person's at, at this stage in their life where they're kind of tired of like friends with benefits sort of situations. They're kind of tired of situationships. They're kind of tired of meaningless connections is basically what I'm getting. This person genuinely feels like they're actually ready for something meaningful. Uh, they actually feel like they're at that stage in their life where they're actually ready to basically settle down. And that's the issue, right? Is that I feel like once upon a time, this person was in the same energy you currently find yourself in as far as like not wanting to settle down and just wanting to kind of be single and free, you know, um, but I feel like that's something that they kind of grew out of. Um, they started to kind of realize that it only really brought temporary fulfillment into their life. Um, and this person genuinely feels like being in a committed relationship with somebody that you love, somebody that you care for, um, you know, somebody that you can build and establish a life with is far more meaningful than situationships and friends with benefits sort of situations that, you know, eventually end up going south anyways. So with that being said, that's just kind of where they're at um, right now is basically what I'm getting. All right, what actions will Taurus take towards this person are moving forward? We have the Six of Swords, we have the Knight of Cups, and then we also have the Ten of Swords. So in regards to how you plan on moving forward, the more you sit back and think about it, the more you start to kind of feel like you're not necessarily ready for absolutely anything serious. And I do see you communicating that to this person. One thing that I will say is that you do kind of come off to me as somebody who's not trying to sit up here and mislead them. Um, you're not trying to sit up here and waste this person's time. You're not trying to sit up here and, and give them the impression that one day you guys will be together. So just wait on me and be patient. You know what I mean? Like you're not coming across like that um, whatsoever. This is you being very open, honest, and transparent with this person. A lot of you feel like you're just not at that stage in your life where you're ready to settle down. You know that, you know... Being with this person could bring a lot of happiness and joy into your life. You know that this is somebody who also fits a lot that you're looking for within a person. But even knowing all those things, you're still kind of coming down to this conclusion um, that you're not necessarily ready uh, for absolutely anything serious. And I do see you communicating that to this person. What actions will this person take? We have the Four of Pentacles. We also have the Moon. And then we also have the... Uh, this kind of feels like a massive blow to the chest, to be completely honest. It feels like a massive blow to the chest. This person does kind of come off to me as somebody who's really good at hiding their pain and their disappointment. They're very good at hiding it from people. You know, when you do communicate this to this person, it's 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 going to definitely be a massive blow to the chest here for them because their biggest thing is, is that they were really hoping that things would work out here between you and them. They were really hoping that eventually things will get serious here between you and them. They're really hoping that, 
you know, you'll reach that point of uh, that you would want to kind of settle down with them, and build towards a life with them. And the fact that you're choosing to not do that because you still want to continue to remain single and free. Um, it's just a massive blow, I would say, to the chest here for this person. OK, now here's one thing that I will say, Taurus, because I just want to point this out. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which they showed up as the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, we also have the Three of Wands. And then we also have the Ace of Cups to the Knight of Wands, to the Lovers, to the Empress. And then we have the Seven of Cups to the Page of Swords. So let's talk, Taurus. When this conversation takes place here between you and this person, it kind of looks like the two of you will essentially part ways from one another, okay? Um, and I kind of feel like that's exactly what needs to happen is that the two of you just simply need to kind of part ways from one another because you're not going to be able to be the person that they want you to be. Um, so it's only right. You know what I mean? That you guys just simply part ways and I see you guys doing that. However, there's going to come a point in time, Taurus, where you're going to find yourself realizing that you kind of made a little bit of a mistake here. You kind of made a little bit of a mistake here um, by letting this person go, or at least that's how you're going to feel. You're going to feel like you basically made a mistake. You're going to feel like you just pushed a really good opportunity um, away from you is basically what I'm getting. Um, this life that you're currently living, and keep in mind, this phase that you're currently in is a phase that they've already experienced, okay? Um, so with that being said, this energy of you just wanting to be single and free and date, you know, people and get to know people. Like, there's nothing wrong with this lifestyle that you're, you're choosing to live. It's your life, you know, do what you want with it, right? There's nothing wrong with how you're choosing to live your life. You know, a lot of you feel like, man, I'm still young. You know, I still want to kind of experience life and just be single and free and not be tied down. Like, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like eventually in time, um, you're going to realize that um, the exact same thing that they realize. You're going to realize that um, as far as like dating a bunch of people, getting to know a bunch of people and putting yourself in these friends with benefits sort of situations and creating all these damn like soul ties with people, like it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it, right? And that's something that you will eventually realize in time. And once you do realize it, um, I do see you running after them. I do see you running after them. Because the as far as like these friends with benefits sort of situations and these situationships, those shits don't fucking work, you know? It just doesn't. It just doesn't. It never does work. Like, And then creating all these soul ties with people and stuff like that, like, I just think that you're going to eventually realize, like, you know, I rather have one person by my side that is committed to me, devoted to me and loves me and I love them right back than to deal with like 10 different people or 20 different people. You know what I mean? Or continue to find myself in these like toxic, you know, situationships or friends of benefits sort of situations, these connections that are going absolutely nowhere fast. Like you're going to eventually want this at some point um and when you do eventually find yourself realizing that okay i don't want to continue to live this life anymore this queen will pop up in your mind and you will eventually take action in their direction now is it gonna be right away you know the first thing that came to my mind is like it, it might take you like a good three months to kind of realize um that you are technically speaking walking away from a really, really good opportunity. Um, and I and I feel like it might just take you three months or less than three months to basically realize that. Um, not only that, uh, it might even happen sooner because you got to keep in mind too that you are so accustomed to having this person around. So now that you're communicating to this person, listen, I don't, I don't want anything serious with you. I don't, I'm not ready for anything serious. They will eventually walk away. That's kind of besides the point. And once they do, and you start to kind of experience life without this person, it's going to put a lot of things into perspective for you. It's going to cause you to realize like, damn, I just walked away from this to deal with these fools over here. Like, no, like, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Um, Eventually, it'll hit you, and eventually, you'll realize that you walked away from a really good opportunity. Um, and, and once you realize it, I do see you running back to them. I do see that happening. And like I said, it might take you less than three months to realize this. Um, it just might, you know? But point is, is that you will eventually realize it, and once you do realize it, I do see you taking action in their direction. 
All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.